Hi everybody, welcome back to YouTips for You. Today I want to talk to you about headaches and offer you some natural remedies and how you can alleviate pain from headaches. Most common headaches are tension headaches and there's also migraine headaches. Tension headaches are something that you feel on both sides of your forehead and it's kind of like there's a tight band wrapped around your head and you feel it in your eyes. There's like a pressure and Lots of times you can still go on with work or doing what you're doing, but you just feel it and, it and it bothers you. Migraine headaches, on the other hand, are really debilitating. You feel nauseous, you're very sensitive to light, sometimes you can vomit. It's really painful, um, you can be dizzy, and there's a, you know, a lot of problems associated with migraine headaches. And both headaches can last anywhere from a half an hour uh, to a day sometimes two days, especially if you're suffering under stress. Um, what you can do is try to start examining your lifestyle and see what could be causing your headaches. It's good to keep a little log and write down uh, things that trigger it, things that make it go away. That way if you do need to see a doctor for it, you have something to discuss with your doctor and it can really help in diagnosing what the problem is and also can help you figure out ways to get rid of it. So for tension headaches, Take a look at your life as far as how you're sleeping. Are you getting a full eight hours? If you're getting seven to eight hours, that should be optimal for you. If you're getting under that, very often that can lead to headaches, as well as feeling very tired and irritable. It can also lead to eating more, so be careful about not getting enough sleep. Stress, as I said, causes headaches, so if you're under stress, you have a deadline, that can cause tension and headaches. Working on the computer too long, or working on the computer in general can cause tension headaches. Staring, you don't blink as much. There's glare. Try to get up and walk around. Try to look in the distance. Try not to stare at the computer all the time. It does give you tension headaches. Be aware of your posture because if you're sitting kind of slumped over, that will affect your neck muscles, your back muscles, and it can ultimately lead to a headache as well. And also, if you're someone who spends a lot of time on the telephone, perhaps you have a job where you have to use the phone a lot, be aware not to put the phone on your ear and cradle it on your neck because that can cause a lot of cramping that causes shoulder pain, neck pain, and get yourself a hands-free device. Something that goes around your head with earphones on your ears, that way your hands are free and you can talk comfortably. So I want to offer you some natural remedies for your tension headaches as opposed to using um, over-the-counter medications. And I haven't taken Tylenol, Advil, aspirin, um, or any of those medications for a headache in years. First thing is, go outside, get some fresh air, breathe deeply. Very often when we're focused and we're studying, we tend to breathe shallower, which is just less oxygen coming into the body and that can cause tension. So just to relieve the tension, go outside, take some deep breaths, walk around. If you cannot do that, just turn away from what you're doing and take some deep breaths. It relaxes the whole body. And when you take a deep breath, hold it for a count to, to four seconds and then slowly release it. And let me show you how. So you breathe in, holding it for four seconds, and then blow it out. That is immediately lowers your blood pressure and it immediately calms you down. So if you're ever in a stressful situation, you have to give a speech or whatever, practice those deep breaths. Do at least four of them and you will feel so much better afterwards. This next thing you can do is if you can, you're at home, rest. Lie down, just do something that, you know, absent-minded, just watching television or just lying with your eyes closed can really help. The other thing you can do is I like to take herbal teas. Now, the one that I can tell you really works well for, for migraine headaches is Feverfew. And I will post it in the description, um, the one that I use. 
but it can also come with lemon balm and lemon balm is a very re it's a, it's a relaxant. So feverfew will help your headaches go away and if you need something to calm you down and relax you, chamomile tea is wonderful for that. So feverfew tea and I take them both in teas. So feverfew tea um, for you know headaches and chamomile tea as well to relieve stress and relax you. You can also try passion flower. That's another relaxant, antispasmodic, sedative type tea. You can mix them together. You can make a cup of tea for yourself and you can put the feverfew tea bag in there. You can put the passion flower tea bag in there and the chamomile tea. And you can make your own delicious herbal concoction for yourself. Sip it warm, put you know, sit down, take some deep breaths and relax, and you will see how much better you feel. Very often, you can make a tension headache go away just doing that. If I have a tension headache, I, I will generally go outside for a walk and start breathing some fresh air, and for me, that works really well. Feverfew is also wonderful for migraines if you suffer from migraines. Um, try the fever few. I think you'll really like it. And with migraines, it really helps to rest and stay in the dark and just lie down because those can really be tough. Now, another thing you can do is a, is a, is a massaging technique that I do uh, to relieve the tension that builds up around the eyes. And this is a really, really good technique. Um, it very often will help you feel better right away. So here's what you do. Go to your um, eyebrows. And the, the bony ridge that's above your your eye socket, okay? There's in it, about midway. There's like a little notch. You can feel it. It's like a little kind of where it's an indent. Just find that little bony notch on both sides. You can use your thumbs. So that's the best way to do it. Put your thumb on either notch and just apply gentle pressure there. Just massage and apply gentle pressure there. What that does is it massages the superior orbital nerve. And when you do that, it relieves the tension because that's where the tension comes from. That's where it comes from in the eyes. So by pressing on that area and gently massaging it, you can stop the tension from transmitting. And it often helps reduce and relieve your headache. Also, applying gentle pressure here at the top of the temples on either side of the forehead. Just gently massaging can help. You can also gently massage all around the eye socket that helps as well and putting your fingers right here on either side of the bridge of your nose and applying gentle pressure there's like a little bony indentation on either side of the bridge of your nose too and if you find that little protrusion, it's a little bony protrusion just press on that little bony protrusion gently and you can feel the tension just coming out of your eyes. Remember sleep is really important and that is very often what starts us out on the path to a headache if we don't get enough sleep. Try not to skip breakfast because that plays with your blood sugar and starts you off. In your, you know, when we wake up, we've fasted for the whole time that we've been sleeping. Sometimes you can be dehydrated in the morning. So have something to drink and have breakfast. And you can very often stabilize your body. You can feel great for the whole day. if You can just not skip breakfast. It's really important. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you'll give these natural remedies a try. Check the description box and I'll write down all those teas that I mentioned that I use um, to relieve stress as well as to help my headaches. And please subscribe because I have a lot more to come. Something of interest to everyone. Please visit me on my blog spot where I do a lot of writing. And I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. So please visit me there and we can stay connected there as well. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye now.